Welcome everybody to ESC Fan TV. I'm here with Alina from Belgium. I'm here with Martin from the Let Me Be The One blog and podcast and Ian and Donna all the way from Scotland. We are talking about Belgium and their first rehearsal of The Wrong Place. That's right, Hooverphonic were live in Rotterdam this morning and uh, they delivered two rounds, certainly on camera, uh, of their performance. Got to go to Alina first. Alina, it's your country. We've been talking this up for weeks. What did you make of their first rehearsal? It's something I expected from Hooverphonic. We always knew that there would be like a mini orchestra on stage and they delivered that. I don't know if I really like that. Um, I would prefer to see only the band, not the extra members. But yeah, it's, it's, it's something you can expect from Hooverphonic to do at Eurovision and they did that. So yeah. So this is a very traditional uh, staging from a, a Hooverphonic um, performance, what we see in concert all the time. It felt very much like it was more of a concert performance than maybe a, a Eurovision stage show. And let's call it stage show because we've used, I'm going to use the word show a lot, I think, in these rehearsals, because what we're seeing is a lot of shows on stage. Is it fair to say that this was very stripped back from Belgium this year? They've gone with... Uh, what I would say is an absolutely flawless vocal from Gekka, probably mispronounced that, um, but not a lot else going on stage. Uh, Martin, what do you think? Well, it was interesting because we saw the couple of run-throughs and it seems as though they're doing different things for different run-throughs, probably a bit like Duncan Lawrence with Arcade almost. Yeah. And I think having the band was necessary because obviously you've got Raymond and Elliot Alex, who are the front guys, there's, you've got to have a drummer because we know that there's drums going on. It was a nice touch to have the backing vocalist as well with this shot near the beginning. And having the pan round reminds you that they're all there, but the focus is still on Geica right in the middle. And when the important bits are needed, when you want to focus on her for when she's talked about the Johnny Cash t-shirt and she's got a psycho face on, um, it works perfectly. And the bit at the end for me is perfect when they're out far in the venue and then zooms into her with all the lights coming down on her spot on great way to end this and yeah i i was really impressed with that last run through and it'd be interesting to see how what we get in the second rehearsals thanks martin ian and donna are you happy with um the the camera angles we saw in this first rehearsal do you think they've got to maybe put a bit more work in to kind of make the most of of what we're hearing on stage yeah there, there is i think there's even more to be done we have as martin said we have seen it evolve a little bit as they've gone through their, um, and they don't do these things on the fly um, because they're using things like cube balance on the, um, so that's been, uh, that's been worked in, they've been planned it that way. So to, to try different versions. Um, yeah, I think it does work. They will open, I think they will change more of them. Um, I think they need to give uh, Gerka a little bit more space in the middle. He's a little bit hemmed in by the two uh, band risers. Um, so I think, think to to let the, and that would let the camera work be better because it would open the amount of shots they could use on her without getting bits of the other band in of course the band has to be there because it is people are, are a band and we need to see the full the full set of them but yeah it's i think this will develop and i really like it it's got a dark um broodiness about it that nobody else has had so far so this will stand out mm -hmm. and i think that could really help them with this yeah, I, I think um, it, for me, it's lost a bit of the gothicness of the actual music video that they put to. So even something like uh, a few candelabras on stage would actually yeah. help for yep. me. Just bring that story out that she she tells in the, the video. I mean, she's she's acting it wonderfully. Uh, and the, as Martin said, those close ups just really tell it when it needs to be told. But yes, give the band a little bit of extra space, lower the stage lighting even a tiny bit more, just a little bit of a percentage and highlight her in a spot bring her out a bit more that way and i think that would work really well for them it's a cracking setup it really is and you know we've seen a lot of uh, a lot of choreography on stage we've seen a lot of different um uh power moves by some of these these countries this year to really make sure that they're visually appealing this is very stripped back for me and actually this might play to belgium's advantage because that first, what, 10 songs in semi-final one, it's all about the performance. This is about the vocal and uh, and really could be to Belgium's advantage. 